Hello students, today we are going to start the very first chapter from class 9 book which is Rational and Irrational Numbers. So before I go to the fifth part which is exercise 1.5 which is very easy and very interesting because this topic has lot of things so slowly we will do to that but before we will first see what are rational numbers and irrational numbers then today we will go to see how we rationalize the denominator which is exercise 1.5 in your textbook so let us start this chapter by first learning the concepts first thing as you know from class 6 7 is that natural numbers start from 1 2 3 4 if we add 0 so we are going from back to up so natural number with 0 children you know it gives you <coughs> whole numbers whole number and if you add negative integer see the table flow chart coming down whole number with negative integers gives you integer because this is negative 0 positive this is what we have as you can see the integers now integers and there are non integers rational number and teach what is rational number these are basically fraction non integer rational numbers are positive and negative fraction next we see integers and non integer rational number gives you rational number and together rational and irrational gives you real number one thing to start with children don't get confused with natural word natural and word real see in english language natural and real are almost very close in meaning but in maths they are very much different natural number is a very small subset or a part of real number so let us see here most of this thing you know so i'll go and focus now on what are rational numbers if you see the definition the very first one or two pages of the book <coughs> you will see that rational numbers are fraction okay these are whole number integers so there are some of the thing what we may call fraction like two by three okay this is a fraction you will see like suppose when you are having slices of bread you may not eat the whole bread if suppose bread has 16 pieces and you consume 5 part of it then fraction 5 by 16 represents the part of the bread which you had because whole bread will be 16 by 16 so sometime we do need a fraction because everything in the world is not whole number like this you need a fraction and to define various things so rational numbers are anything something upon p by q or p and q are two integers p by q is a ratio but denominator boys should not be equal to zero because if denominator is zero it becomes fully meaningless okay so rational numbers are fractions whose denominator should not be zero next we see there are certain numbers which you can never write as a fraction those numbers like root 2 root 5 any root which is not a perfect square like root 4 is 2 root 4 is 2 which is a rational number because this you can write as 2 by 1 but root 2 you can never write it as p by q because this will go on on and here if you remove decimal also but it is not terminating this will go on so this is non terminating non recurring decimal so hence you can never divide it by something to get as p by q so another day another topic just i am telling you same thing real number rational and irrational numbers we have so rational numbers are all terminating and recurring decimal this I will take it on the other day whereas irrational numbers are all non-terminating, non-recurring so this will never end, never terminate this will never recur, means after a group also it will never repeat itself 
such numbers are called irrational number and here we have given you example of irrational numbers and together this rational and irrational number gives us real number so once more if you see top to down before i start the chapter real number is divided into rational and irrational rational number can be is a fraction whose denominator should not be zero and this fraction numerator and denominator is from integer set positive or negative irrational number cannot be expressed cannot see here boys this is cannot this is can and this is cannot be represented as something by something so we have a pi whose they wanted to find the value to 1 million place and those mathematicians those who are finding pi even after 1 million place it's never non terminating and non recurring decimal hence pi is also an irrational number so the rational number is divided into integer and non integer rational numbers both are rational number this is also a fraction whose denominator is 1 so this is also a rational number and this is also a rational number and integers are divided into negative integers and 0 plus positive this is called whole number set and whole number if you divide it's 0 and natural number and this topic about decimal real numbers in terms of decimal which is exercise 1.3 like that we will see we will do it separately so this is a big topic very interesting topic but this part is most interesting and this is very important from 